look at coordinate geometry. That's uh, coordinate geometry. And there is two aspects to coordinate geometry uh, for leaving search, and that's coordinate geometry, the line, and coordinate geometry, the circle. We are going to look at the line. Now, in this video, we are going to look at plotting uh, coordinates, so putting coordinates uh, on this <clears throat> plane in the correct places, and how to coordinate ourselves, how to move around the plane, and how to identify, if I put a, a dot here, how to correctly identify the coordinates of this dot, how to correctly identify the coordinates of this dot, um, or this dot, or this dot. So the first thing we need to do is we need to have a look at these two lines here, the bottom line that's going horizontal, and then this line here that's going vertical. The horizontal line, the line going across, is called the x-axis, okay? So it's very, it's exactly the same as a number line. It has zero in the middle, and then it goes to positive numbers increasing to the right, and negative numbers uh, to the left. So one, two, three, four, five, and then minus one, minus two, minus three. So the number line, it's just like the number line. And then the y-axis, that's this vertical one here, the y-axis, that is the same number line, but flipped. So the, the x-axis has just been flipped. And you can see here, as we go up vertically, we have the positive numbers, one, two, three, four, and then the negative numbers going down, minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five. And we have four different quadrants. We have, a, this is a quadrant here, and we have a quadrant over here, and we have a quadrant here, and we have a quadrant here, okay? Now, coordinates uh, always look like this. You'll have brackets, and then you'll have a comma, which divides two numbers, which are the coordinates. So say I give you the coordinates 3 and 5. Before we even look at uh, how to plot this, you should always know that the first coordinate tells us uh, where we're going to look on the x-axis, and the second coordinate is going to tell us uh, where we're going to look on the y-axis. And what I mean by that is, here I have plus three. Now there's no plus sign, and there's no sign at all in front, which means it's a plus. If it was negative, it would have a negative. So it's three. So what we do is we go along the x-axis to three, okay? And then y is five. The y-axis coordinate is five. So we're here we are at three, and then we go up to five. So say that this coordinate was a. It was called a, that's the name of this coordinate. I have just plotted A. Okay? Now, say I want to plot a coordinate like this, um, minus 2 and 6. Again, the first number is the uh, x-axis, and the second number relates to the y-axis. So the first number is minus 2, so go, we go along the x-axis to minus 2, and then we go up to 6. So we go up minus two and we go up, 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 up here to six. So here it is. Let me just change the color. Okay. So here we are here. So it's above minus two and it's level with six. Let's call this B. All right. Now the next number that I'll do is we'll uh, give minus 4 and minus 3. So here we're going, this is again the x-axis and this is to do with the y-axis, so we go out to minus 4 here and then we go down to minus 3. And let's call this point C. I'll just change it here. So that's C. So that's the coordinate C. And the next one will be D. So D is going to be 3 and minus 2. 
So 3, we go out to 3, and then we go down to minus 2. So I'll change the color again. Out to 3 along the x-axis, and then down to minus 2, level with minus 2. And this is the coordinate D. Now, this is the first coordinate. This A is in the first coordinate, and both numbers are positive. B is in the second coordinate, and you can see the first number is negative, but the second number is positive. C, that's in the third coordinate, and both numbers are negative. And then D, that's in the fourth coordinate, and the first number is positive, and the second is negative. So sometimes you see it explained like this. I'll just change the color. You'll see brackets, and then you'll see plus, comma, plus. And what that means is any coordinate in this area, both numbers are going to be plus. And then over on this side, in the second coordinate, the first number will be a negative, and then the second number will be a positive. Down here, both numbers will be negative. And then over on this side, the first number will be positive, and the second number will be negative. So you need to know how to plot points. If you are given these points, you need to correctly plot them uh, on uh, the plane, the coordinate plane, that's what this is called. You need to know uh, which quadrant they go into. So, And then you need to be able to identify, if you are given points, you need to be able to identify and tell us what the coordinate would be. So let's call this uh, coordinate uh, x, uh, t, u, and v. So we have x, t, u, and v. If you want, you can pause the video now and try and write these coordinates out and then press play when you've tried and then you can see if you got them right or not. So pause the video now if you want to do that. Okay, so let's have a look and see what the coordinates are. X first. X is above 4 on the x-axis. So 4 will go here and it's level with 8 on the y-axis so 8 will go here. So the coordinates for X are 4 and 8. Now T, where's T? T here is below 5 and it's level with minus 5 so it's below 5 here so it's 5 is the first one and it's level with minus 5 so it's 5 minus 5 and then u u is over here we have it's below minus 5 and it's level with minus 4 so it's minus 5 and minus 4 and then v the last one it's above minus 6, and then it's level with 5. So it's minus 6 and 5. So you need to be able to, uh, if you're given coordinates, be able to plot them. And then if you are given uh, a graph or a coordinate plane with coordinates without the uh, numbers written, you need to be able to identify where the coordinates are. So you need to be able to do that uh, backwards and forwards for all the future sums. Okay.